Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my basement. I'd like to welcome every single person tuning in on this video today. Friends, family, just everybody. I'm making this video the way it is right now is because I was struggling to make a perfect senior speech video. Yes, you heard me right. For the last few days, I've been working on how to deliver the senior speech properly and perfectly, as perfect as possible at least. But then I realized something. You know what I realized? I realized that there is no such thing as a perfect senior speech. No such thing. And you want to know why? Because what's good about having the suit, the microphone, the camera that's like this, like the perfect lighting and all that stuff, that doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with the senior speech. It doesn't matter how I deliver it. All that matters is what I have to say. And all I have to say is thank you. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to do. And basically, it comes down to how serious you take this video. At the end of the day, whether you take it serious or not, at the end of the day, it'll still be my senior speech and it'll still have meaning to at least someone out there. I also want you guys to keep in mind that this senior speech is going to be a little bit more than just the swimming thing because even though swimming was pretty much the only thing that I participated in high school wise, I still want to cover everything that I can in this video so that I can be proud that I gave my final word in video form on the whole high school thing before I close the chapter to this life that I used to live before I went off into the real world and stuff, stuff like that. I, I think you get it, right? Now, even though our banquet was sadly canceled due to the coronavirus outbreak and the pandemic and all that mess that's going around right now, I still wanted to give my final words on high school swimming and to just thank everybody because I felt like I was robbed of the opportunity that closure that I so rightfully deserve to give, especially since I participated at this school all four years. It just felt wrong that I didn't get to share. I don't know about the other seniors and how they feel, but to me, I wanted to give my final words and this is how I'm gonna do it, whether you like it or not. First off, I would just like to say how proud I am of you guys for this last season. This last season was probably one of the most successful seasons that Southwest has ever seen, ever. This season was so amazing. So many good performances, so many time drops, just all around great swimming as a whole. And I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you for that. The high school experience was pretty okay. It definitely went too fast for me, at least. Like I didn't feel like I really went through high school despite all the experiences that I've either missed out on or just, it just went too fast for me. I don't know how else to describe it. It just, it blew past me like it was nothing. I can, I can still vividly remember freshman year perfectly. That's how, that's how fast this went. Like I, you, you, you'd expect that I would forget pretty much everything. Like, all the stuff that they taught me in class, I can't even remember, I can't even remember the last thing I did on my astronomy homework. Like, I don't care about that. I'm talking about the experience. The experience of going to high school just completely passed me by, and I didn't even get to enjoy it long enough to say that it was good. You know what I'm saying? There were a few moments that I could cherish in high school, but overall, it just passed me by. There, there's just too many people to thank in one video. Like if I had a list to thank everybody, the list would probably go on for a few miles, but actually that's a over exaggeration. I take that back. The list would be long. You understand, right? So I'm going to do the best I can to thank every single person, specifically the ones that meant the most to me, not, not trying to be hurtful or mean or anything, but I just wanted to say, that certain people mean more to me than others. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad, I'm so sorry. But 
I'd like to thank Luke Burkett for putting up with the 500 with me. Every single 500, we were racing one another. Every single practice that we practiced the 500 for, the distance sets and all that stuff. Thank you, dude. Thank you for putting up with that stuff. It was awful. Tommy, you were kind of in there, kind of not, but Luke and I, we were struggling every single practice. Not necessarily struggling, but just like, the 500 is one of the worst races that man has ever created. Like, I, there, I guess there is worse, but for high school's sake, the 500 is Satan's spawn in swimming. Like, it's the worst. So Luke, thank you for putting up with that with me. And best of luck to you in the 500 next year. I bet you that you're gonna go under 450. Like, I don't care. If I can go a 457, you can easily go under 450. Like, it's that easy. Trust me. You just gotta work hard at it and you'll, you'll do it. Definitely beat Berkeley for me. I didn't get to beat Berkeley. She's only two seconds faster than me. But best of luck to you. Like, just do it. Just get it. Next up, I'd like to thank Trent Kivett for counting for me in every single 500. Dude, you're the best counter I've ever had. And my, as my personal counter, I found it amazing that you took the time out of each meet to just count for me. Like, that's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Now, even though counting is not hard, I could have found another counter, but Trent, you were my go-to man. Thank you. Next up, I'd like to thank Louis Antonoro for inspiring me to do better in every single race, including the 500 this season. Thank you for yelling at me, dude. Like, I've never been more happy to be yelled at in my entire life than Louis Antonoro yelling at me. Like, it, you can't get any better than that. I just smile and take in all the criticisms. Louis, you're a god. Next up, I'd like to thank my girlfriend for being there for me every single meet. Now, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure everyone knows who she is, but I just wanted to say, for the record, you guys suck in this one area. You guys suck because you, we could have been together throughout high school and enjoying our relationship, but you guys ruined it. You guys prevented us from being together. You want to know why? Because it was just so awkward dealing with all the shipment and stuff on the swim team like just shut up okay just shut up we're together now we're a lot happier now i just wanted to thank you thank you Rianne. thank you just thank you for putting up with that i know it must have been hard i'm so sorry it's not my fault but i'm just gonna say sorry on the behalf of all these psychopaths watching this video who shipped us it was very uncomfortable this whole entire time like four seasons of this, are you kidding me? I, I can't, I can't, do, I, no more, just no more. So thank you, Rianne, for putting up with it. I love you. Next up, I'd like to thank my boys from different schools, Timmer, Aaron, and Charles. You guys were the best friends I've ever had through high school. I've had some close friends that were not a part of the swim team, but since all three of you were a part of your own swim teams and we were all very close friends, I'd just like to thank you. Thank you so much, dudes. And thank you so much for being on the channel, guys. Like, that means a lot to me. I enjoy making videos with you three. Like, it's awesome. Totally cool. That's like the best content, in my opinion. I'd like to thank all the boys' teams, to every single person who has come and gone on this swim team. Thank you guys so much. It means the world to me that I was able to be a part of the team and lead it, if you know what I mean. Even though I wasn't the best leader, I still felt like I was leading you guys to some extent. There were some areas that I could have done better, some areas I excelled at. I will work on that in the future for any sort of business, any, and just anything. Like I'll work on my leadership skills, but this was a good first experience that I've ever got. So thank you so much for letting me be your leader this season. And yeah, just, just thank you for being a part of the team, guys. Like every single one of you, for some, some people didn't enjoy it as much, some more than others, but just know that I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you. And next up, I'd like to thank my godchildren. Tyler, Miles, Michael, Sam, and Gabe, all five of them. Thank you so much for being my children. It means a lot to me. I love each and every one of you. Sam, just a little bit more than the rest of you, but you five were cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me be a father figure to you. Now, I may not be the best father. I'm more like the drunken uncle that shows up at 
Thanksgiving at the last minute and eats all the food and stuff, but that's besides the point. The, the point is, thank you so much for letting me be a father figure to you. And yeah, next up I wanna thank my coaches, Ross, Eric, Cassie, I'm so, I'm so sorry, sorry. I almost forgot for a second there, my bad. Um, I just wanted to say to Ross, even though we had our ups and downs over the course of three seasons, that's how long we've been together, I just wanted to say thank you for coaching me. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda coaching me. I already knew what I was doing, not gonna lie. I was just kind of doing my own thing this season, especially this season, but I just wanted to say thank you for coaching me. Cassie, you're a bit new. We don't really know each other that well, but I just wanted to say thank you anyway because you were still coaching us. We were kind of getting to know each other, and best of luck to you in the future seasons of Southwest if you do so continue to coach here. So thank you for coaching. And to my man, Eric, I am so excited to give this one. Now, even though he wasn't my coach, he was the dive coach, he was still my coach. And the motivational speeches that he gave were supreme, like they were the best, like the absolute best, especially when he had the marker board and he made like the acronyms and stuff. That was so cool. It was so, like it pumped me up. It was so awesome. Like I can't begin to stress how amazing this man is. Like Eric, you were a god. And last, but certainly not least, now that I thanked my friends, my girlfriend, my coaches, my godchildren, I'd like to thank my family, specifically my mother. My family has supported me all this time through all 11 years of swimming. Thank you guys so much, especially to my mother. She's been there for me since the beginning. She's been supporting me. She's been technically my biggest fan through my whole entire swimming career. So I'd just like to say thank you so much, Mom. I love you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I could say, really. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you to just everyone who is, just thank you to everyone. Like, I've got nothing else to say. I've thanked pretty much everybody I can think of that is worthy of a shout out, but really I just wanted to make this video thanking every single person, like every single person, friends, enemies, family, just everybody. Like, thank you for making me the person that I am today. Without any of this, I wouldn't be standing here right now giving a senior speech in my basement with an iPhone. Like, if you would have told junior year Zach that he was going to be in his basement giving his senior speech to a few hundred people he would not believe you he would he would have just assumed that nothing like this was going to happen so really just thank you everybody like it means a lot to me now I don't know where the future is going to take me I plan on going to Canada to study animation to entertain people and all that stuff but really the future is a blank slate and anything can happen at this point. Like, I didn't think the coronavirus was gonna happen. I didn't think all these things that are happening right now, I just never imagined. So really, I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen to me in the future, but I'm gonna do my absolute best to be the best person I can be in any given situation, no matter what. And I'd like to thank everybody for making me the person that I am today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my senior speech. I know it's not perfect, it's not the best, but it's the best that I can do currently. So with that said, thank you.